Hi, my name is Sol Sanis. I was born and raised here in Dayton, Ohio, born at Miami Valley Hospital. Um, always thought that I wouldn't stay in Dayton, and the more I stay here, the more I love this city. Uh, obviously, things have been very difficult since the Memorial Day tornadoes. We started the hashtag Dayton Strong, and now it's not just a hashtag, it's more of a way of life, especially after the tragedies that hit last Sunday in the Oregon District in the early morning. So our city has been hit extremely hard. Um, not only that, but the people are still trying to heal. So many people are, in times like these, we either come together or you come apart. And now there are people who have tried to spill hate and try to turn this into a debate, but that is definitely not why we need to be brought together. We are a community. Dayton Strong is now Dayton Stronger. And I do kind of feel a sense of magic here in the district, even though there was tragedy just a few days ago. I want I'm so thankful that through this, people have found a way to become united. The guy from El Paso, Greg Zanis, who drove all the way from Texas to deliver these handmade white crosses, which you might be able to see a little bit in the background. We can walk there in a second. These crosses were brought blank intentionally so people could write messages of hope. I'm walking through the Oregon District. There are post-it notes everywhere with inspiring messages. So we, instead of spreading hate, we can spread the love, which is really what a lot of people need right now. People who have been physically affected and mentally affected also need help. So if you are one of those people, there are tons of resources on DaytonOhio.gov. They update it every single day. There's a suicide hotline. There's a crisis hotline. There's a programs for businesses to get some help for any of the staff that might be suffering. So there's lots of resources in the area. But like I said, let's take a look over at the crosses that were brought from a gentleman named Greg Zanis all the way from El Paso, Texas. Behind me are the white crosses that were brought all the way from El Paso. A gentleman named Greg Zanis had the gesture and the heart to travel all this way out of the goodness of his own heart so we could make a memorial right in front here in the Oregon District. There are words of encouragement, words of hope, words of love. And these are for anybody in the community who feels that they would like to leave a message. The Oregon District has completely transformed all of the businesses instead of using advertisements as you see behind. Um, they have thank you Dayton police. All the local businesses are spreading love. So it, it is a, a nice sight to be down here. I encourage everybody to come out and take a walk just to spread some love and also take in and grieve what has happened to our community. And as we continue to grieve through the tragedy that happened last Sunday, the memorial behind me has the names of the nine victims that were tragically shot to death on Sunday morning. So this is a wonderful tribute that we have for them. They will never be forgotten. I think the biggest thing is to remember these names. May you rest in peace, may you finally find paradise, and Dayton will never forget you.